G'day all and welcome back to my testing world. All of this is no mods, no scripts, no DLCs needed and make sure you check out the episode before this one where I came up with the idea right in the top right hand side of your screen right this second. And as you can see I did go through a couple of designs and by that I mean quite a few many as I cleaned up the world before started I recording. But it is finally done and the idea I came up with was pretty much this one. This was Mark 1, uh, Mark 2 with the extra two thrusters on the top just to, to allow it to return to base, turn all of its thrusters off and then possibly drop into my perfect grinder pit. That's also at the end of the previous episode before this. So make sure you really go and check that one out. So, the way I got this all to work, and what it all does, is their attack and or defense drones. So the way it works, and I'll show you very quickly, very shortly, this was the one that wasn't needed, as I do not want any thrusters pointing up to allow it to come down. I'll explain why in just a second, so let's move over here. This was my Mark 1 of the drone setup, so the drone minefield, the drone minefield drone, bit of a tongue twister, which had the big chunky guys on it, and I've made sure that the ammo does not need anything other than the basic magnesium. So all of this doesn't need any silver or platinum or anything like that. You can almost build it with your basic setup base from the, the starting of the game almost. Uh, ignore the reactor, that's just to stop it from falling out of the sky, but this one is exactly, or half exactly, is the one over there. Ignore that one. But this is what I came up with. I've got a few design testing phases for the armor needed, which is why you'll see the decoy blocks on this one and not on the eight that I'll be triggering as well as this. So I'll flick over to my spectator, and this is what we'll be shooting at. This is my Rhino Explorer ship, which is found on the Steam Workshop and mod.io. Make sure you check it out. Lots of stuff. It's got a drone printer in it, uh, lots of defenses. It's got my vanilla cluster missiles. As always, no scripts, no mods, no DLCs, all base. I love it. Uh, apart from this, I need to update this with the new Warfare 2 DLC, uh, or the free thing that comes with the game, sorry. So I need to change that up. Looking forward to that one. But this is what we'll be shooting at today. Let's get back to me character, and I'm going to be triggering this up. The way it works, and I'll explain just a little bit before I trigger it up, I'm sorry, otherwise I'll run out of time. It will fly up to the actual any GPS, or it can be triggered manually by flying it with your person, and then just dropping each of those drop timer blocks to then trigger the connector itself to disconnect and open these parachutes that are sneakily in here somewhere. There's one and then there's another one underneath on the other side as well to allow it to drop off the inside drone. And I'll do that right this second to explain a bit further. Let's lock onto it. It will fly up there, drop all four at once, open the parachutes, allow them to fly down and correct themselves, and then fly towards the 800 meter safe ground which is 800 meters away from the enemy so you won't be shot at it's nice and safe flies up to here and then drops them down so i'm going to go down here and then trigger up all the rest of these because my ship has a lot of defenses on it and a lot of large grid turrets so it might be a good idea if you're wondering why the front of my ship was missing that was for the fact that it has a decoy block behind lots of armor, or heavy armor, sorry. There we go. That's all triggered. They're all going. I'll follow one of these and I'll explain a bit further because that's where I started. So once they've been triggered and on their way to that 800 meter safe ground, let me just fix all that up so it can see the one I want. Um, yeah, that's all right. They'll get there eventually. No, I want to see the, um, the good stuff at the start, don't we? Let's get over there. Let's get over here. Let's go and lock on to the third one. I think that should be all right because the first two should get destroyed pretty fast. And these are exactly the same except for the decoys up the top, just different armor designs. And as you notice, they cannot make that 800 meter safe ground. So what they'll do is they'll go past, try and slow down, and then they'll swing either off to the right or off to the left 
within range of the enemy. As you see, they're absolutely destroying it. In the process, they'll then come around, and because they don't have the thruster pointing it down towards the GPS, it won't be able to make it whatsoever. So what it's going to do is it's just going to circle it at about three or four hundred meters, depending how fast and different tests, different angles, etc., etc. But I've put this GPS slightly above the ground for the fact of any human error uh, can be placed on the ground uh, almost anywhere um, 800 meters away from that enemy. I've also placed one in the middle of the enemy itself to circle it directly, which does some intense damage, but I want it to be realistic survival. Uh, you're not going to be able to place a GPS in the middle of a 100% enemy. Uh, kaboom, go something. Uh, they don't have collision avoidance, obviously. So, after 25 seconds, upon activation, it will start a timer block called the thruster delay. And what that's going to do is it's going to pretty much trick the autopilot of that remote block. So it's going to turn off the thruster left and the thruster right. So this one here and this one here. Yeah, going a million miles an hour. Thanks, dude. Um, see, and then it will turn those two thrusters off from that thruster delay timer. After that's been triggered, it will start and return to base timer of about five or six minutes, as you three, as you see, three hundred and sixty seconds, to then turn all those thrusters back on to allow it to return to base, hover above a grinder pit which is at the end of that last episode and in my next episode I'm working on of my survival series in the top right hand side of your screen when it's completed very soon hopefully to then turn all of its thrusters off and drop into that grinder pit pretty much recycling it from scratch or you could have that second remote block yes that's where that that return to base remote block does it turns off the first remote block that it's still on now to try and get to that GPS and to turn on a separate return to base remote block to either dock back at your base or drop into a grinder setup. So as you see they're back in range on their second round doing some serious damage and let's have a look oh my diddly god um, yeah as you can see they're pretty overpowered as you can tell their weapons are actually targeted towards weapons for the fact that you want to be able to approach it without destroying the base you want to try and salvage, I guess. Uh, that can be obviously changed in the terminal. And these have roughly 20 minutes of charge, which is really brilliant. Let's check out that return to base timer and I'll explain just before it activates and I'll trigger it after I've explained it. As I've, as I've said, it will turn on the thrusters on the left and right. Oh, and I forgot to say, and that forward thruster. So this is the one that triggers the drone itself, or the button you saw before. And it starts that thruster delay, apart from disconnecting from your base and autopilot on. It starts the thruster delay, this one here, after 30 seconds, it turns off that forward thruster. If I didn't turn the forward thruster off, I'll just unlock. It would be able to slow down much faster before flicking around to try and get to the GPS. Um, after about five minutes, it will then turn on all those thrusters, including that forward one. So this one here, this one here, and this one here, which I'll now go and trigger it right this second, just like so. And then what it will do, it will then return back to the base. And I haven't set up the grinder pit, and I'll probably put it over in the B-roll already, if not now. Uh, to then drop down in the grinder setup, to then grind it all up, ready and set to print up another one, if not. So yeah, that's pretty much all of this so far, and I do hope you enjoy the episode. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Any ideas and thoughts on what I could do with this would always be appreciated, but until then, stay sharp till next time. Thanks once again. Hello drone. Meow. So yeah, so this will definitely be upgraded. Uh, this is just Mark 1.